the connection between universities and, and the industry has uh, been disrupted somehow. I think it's a trend that came from the UK and uh, then slowly, you know, like also from the States, where the, the young architects are trained to be um, perfect image makers. And uh, there's no substance behind that. So suddenly all the, the international universities went into a competition, who's going to do the, the best image? Who's going to do the craziest idea? This completely destroyed the real process that has been going on in architectural schools for hundreds of years, where actually students, exactly as a medical student, go in the body of the building and understand piece by piece, bone by bone, how it works, how it should work, what are the sizes. Our body mass hasn't changed in, in you know, like the past thousand years. We're the same, maybe a few centimeters taller. So how can you actually get a student with five years education that doesn't know how to design a toilet? And why is that okay? You know, I really don't understand. And why this has to be technical, you know? And I, I'm conceptual, I don't design toilets. Or I'm technical and I design toilets. And how, why would you separate between these two people? You don't know what they're gonna do. Maybe they're 18, 20, 22 years old. How, how do you know? if they're conceptual enough, or if they want to turn into the technical part, or if they want to do site, or if they want to do, I don't know, survey or whatever. There needs to be a return to the classical education, to a level where people can actually sketch, is not always digital. The, the, the sketching is a language, and this language cannot be lost, should not be lost. That's number one. Number two, you need to connect the universities with the industry, not sterilized, like three months you go into the office, but actually bring the industry in the universities. In Dubai we have like, thank God, we have a, multi, a multitude of successful architects and professionals that could be and should be visiting universities on a weekly basis. Universities should invite us to give lectures about our projects, about our process. Forget the projects, the process. The process is so important, you know, people are then a young individual who's 19 or 20 and is like one, two years in the university realizes what's the process between, ah, you know, ah, this is how we meet the client and this is what we need to, this is what the brief means and this is how we analyze it and this is how we handle our time. My age, I was lucky enough to, to study in Scotland and we had two competing universities in Glasgow, Strathclyde University and Macintosh School of Architecture. And every Friday there was a lecture from somebody super famous that came from abroad just to give a lecture either to Strathclyde or to Macintosh. And both student universities were very lucky to follow every imaginable star architect that you can you 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 know yeah, in the 90s. So from from Zaha and 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 Kulhas and you name it, they came and they gave a lecture. Even Lebeus Woods, you know, everybody gave a lecture, and we met them personally afterwards. So this was one contact with the industry. The other contact with the industry is that our tutors were actually professionals that knew the business and how it worked, and they passed all this knowledge to us.